I recommend that people stay either at A&G or at Marley's. Um, I think people in Anyak really enjoy the Hound House restaurant for their pizza. Going inside. Dun, dun, dun. That's fine. Right. This is the Hound House special, one of my favorite pizzas here. And this is the double bacon cheeseburger. Um, wild foods, um, everything from game meats like moose meat and salmon, and there's a variety of different fish in the river. You know, there's several species of salmon, also she fish and white fish. And then there are wild berries. I think those are the specialty foods here where people go up on the hills and pick berries. We really like the um, Eskimo ice cream, which is called agurak, and it's like boiled fish with um, mixed with berries and sugar and a couple other ingredients. It's like for dessert. People really like going for walks and um, hiking on the nearby hills and boat rides in the summertime and you could go ice fishing with your snowmobile in the winter time so there's always places to go and fun stuff to do. The Aniak dump is somewhere everyone must go to um, as there's no local trash service. The dump is separated into trash and then into broken down vehicles so people can search for parts to fix their own. <laughs> Some activities done as the sewing group at the community church. The Aniak Public Library which provides internet access and plenty of books. And there are two stores in Aniak. There is the AC and the Aniak General Store. The General Store is locally owned and they do their best to provide fresh fruits and vegetables. Other activities include four-wheeling in the summertime and snow machining. It's also one of the main ways that people get around town when not walking. The Assembly of God Community Church is one of three churches and they often host potlucks which you are welcome to join and uh, bring something to share. I would go to the top of Roan Hill which is also known as Artie's Trail and you could see Anyak from the top of the hill and it's really beautiful. Many people grow their own garden to supplement their vegetables and fruits and there's even a goat farm. The Aniak Volunteer Fire Department is a service to the area. There is a group called the Dragon Slayers, mainly composed of high school students who are trained just like an EMT. Hiking and berry picking is a very popular activity, especially in the fall time. Uh, there are many places you can go, although you must have permission from the landowners. Boating and fishing is one of my favorite things to do. There's plenty of fish, beautiful salmon, she fish, other white fish, um, rainbow trout. Uh, something unique is the Ice River Road. Uh, the, the year that I took this video, it was about six feet deep. And as a result, uh, it was very safe to drive on. You could go monarching, which is ice fishing. There's also snow machine and pulling or sledding. We're at the mouth of the Aniac. And breakup in the springtime can be very exciting. One year there was an ice flow so large that uh, it went over the edge of the banks. Well, this phenomenon is called a sun dog. Guess you don't really get to see it in warmer climates, but when it's really cold up here, you get to see the sun and kind of look like a rainbow arc on either side of it.
It's supposed to get really cold again, back down to the negative 30s this week, I guess, which is warmer than it was last week when we went down to negative 40 for a few days. Uh, probably people that appreciate different cultures and um, it's definitely an off the beaten path. You know, people who like getting off the road system and doing something different. You know, rural Alaska is a dimension of Alaska that a lot of people who come on cruise ships and things like that just don't get to experience. So that, and probably an outdoorsy person and um, somebody who's uh, a little hardy, probably. <laughs> um, anybody that likes outdoors and anybody that's friendly and outgoing, because I feel like our community is very welcoming to you know people from out of state or out of our hometown. So anybody that enjoys doing things outdoors and also very social. <laughs>